welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Smith and today we get to read a really cool nonfiction book that's called Plants That Eat Animals. Can you say that? Ready? Plants That Eat Animals. You got it. And some of you might be saying, Miss mm, Smith, did they get it backwards? Because shouldn't it say animals that eat plants? Because we know lots of animals that eat plants, like cows that eat grass, or gorillas that eat fruit, or birds that eat seeds. But plants that eat animals? Mm-hmm, there are some. We'll find out what they are in just a minute. First, let's talk about the letter V. Will you say letter V three times, Jetty? Letter V, letter V, letter V. Yeah, the letter V is a consonant letter that has a sound I love. To make the sound, you take your top teeth, you press them to your bottom lip, and then you use your voice to push the air through like this. Watch me. Can you try that like me? Ready? Nice job. And if you do it right, it should make your bottom lip kind of buzz or tickle just a little bit. Give me a thumbs up if you can feel that as we do it one more time. Ready? Good. A lot of kids gave me a thumbs up. They could feel that. Good. Okay. So the sign language for letter V is super simple. All you do is take two fingers, hold them straight in the air. Don't let them touch. Keep them apart. And that's called letter V because it looks like a V. Can you say letter V? Ready? It's a letter V. You got it. Keep your letter V. And will you bounce it forward three times as we make the letter V's sound together like v, v, v. Ready? V, v, v. Nice job. So let's read about plants that eat animals. But <clears throat> some of you might be saying, Miss Smith, did you make a mistake? Because p -p plants starts with P, not V. You're right. But the very first plant we're going to read about is called a V, V, Venus flytrap. Oh, can you say it? It's a V, V, Venus flytrap. And of course, Venus does start with V. So let's find out about plants that eat animals. They're kind of cool. All plants need water and minerals to grow. Minerals are the nutrients or the food that a plant needs to grow. Most plants get them from the soil. Hmm. So did you hear that? All plants need three things in order to grow. Uh, my turn first, echo me. They need water, water, minerals, minerals, soil, soil, because of course they get their minerals from the soil. Uh-oh, but did you know this? Some plants grow in soil that has few minerals in it. If the soil doesn't have enough nutrients, they get food by trapping small animals, or sometimes we call them insects. So you can see in this first picture, it's a Venus flytrap that has caught a fly. Oh, look at that. The Venus's flytrap grows in wetlands in North and South Carolina. It is about 12 inches tall and has white flowers. So if you were walking in a field and you saw those white flowers, you might just think, oh, those are lovely flowers. But if you looked at the base of the flowers, if you looked at the bottom, that's where you would see, oh, it's a Venus flytrap. Can you say that? Ready? Oh, it's a Venus flytrap. Yeah. Each leaf looks like a clam's shell. That clam part is actually the leaf. It has sharp spines around the edges and soft hairs inside. So I actually wonder if we could make that with our hand. Can you take one hand and this will be the leaf part and then take your fingers on your other hand and make them stick up. Those will be the spines on the leaf. And if you open the leaf up, those are all the soft hairs inside and we have to use our hand again to make the little soft hairs inside. Good. That's what a Venus flytrap looks like. The leaf gives off a sweet juice that attracts insects. So the insects will say, Ooh, I smell something sweet. Let's go investigate. Uh-oh. 
when an insect touches the hairs on a Venus's flytrap leaf, the two halves snap shut. So remember the soft little hairs inside the leaf? If the insect lands on those, that's when the leaf snaps shut. The plant slowly breaks down the insect's body and removes the minerals. It takes the nutrients away for its food. Then the leaf opens up again. So can you pretend, take your hand, pretend you're snapping shut around an insect. You're going to eat that insect and then open back up again. Okay, ready? We're going to snap, eat, 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 get all the nutrients, all the minerals, and open back up. We're ready for another meal, good. This Venus flytrap has caught a cricket. There's a cricket in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there's other types of plants besides just the Venus's flytrap. This one is called a sundew plant. Can you say sundew plant, ready? Sundew plant, yeah, this is a sundew plant. Sundew plants grow in wet, boggy areas all over the world. A boggy area means it's wet and muddy. Each leaf has soft red hairs with drops of sticky liquid on the tips. So some kids look at those and they say, hey, it looks like it's covered with drops of water. It might look like it, but those are not drops of water. It's a liquid that's very sticky instead. When an insect gets stuck to a few hairs, all the other hairs on that leaf fold over and hold the insect in place. So we could actually do that with our hands too. We could pretend that we're a sundew plant and these are all the little sticky hairs sticking up off of the plant and pretend that a little fly lands on this top hair and as soon as it lands on that top hair, all the other hairs are going to fold around it. So they're waving in the wind and there's the fly, fold around it. Now we've trapped our insect, good and they hold it in place. After the plant breaks down the insect's body, the hairs open up again. Hey, just like on the Venus's flytrap. And look at, you can see that insect, mm, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. Maybe it's a wasp, but it's hard to tell because all the nutrients, all the minerals have been taken out of it by the plant. The sundew is ready for another meal. Can you guess how the pitcher plant got its name? <laughs> we can because of course it looks like a pitcher of water or juice. Its leaves are shaped like a pitcher and hold a sweet liquid. Oh, can you say pitcher plant? Ready, it's a pitcher plant. Yeah, this is a pitcher plant. When an insect crawls down into the pitcher, it gets stuck inside. It cannot climb back up the slippery sides. The insect drowns in the liquid. Oh, so see if you can see, it's kind of tricky to see, but there's an insect that has crawled down inside the pitcher plant and is now stuck in the liquid that's in there. There are many different kinds of pitcher plants. This first one is called a trumpet pitcher plant. Can you say that? It's a trumpet pitcher plant. Yeah, because it looks like an instrument called a trumpet. This one is called a purple pitcher plant. Can you say it? Purple pitcher plant. And you might be saying, but Miss Smith, it's not purple. It's not, but that's still its name. This one down here is called flytrap pitcher plant. Can you say flytrap pitcher plant? It's a flytrap pitcher plant. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if they're tall and skinny or if they're short and squat. If it looks like a pitcher and it traps insects inside its liquid, that's a pitcher plant. Bladder worts live in ponds. Ooh, that's an interesting name. Can you say bladder worts? Ready? Bladder worts. Yeah, bladder worts live in ponds. Their leaves are covered with tiny bags called bladders. So look if you can see all these tiny little bags on the plant, those tiny little bags are called bladders. Did you hear it? They're called bladders. Yeah. 
if an insect or small fish, oh, wait, did you hear that? Not just an insect, but also a small fish. Bladder words eat insects and fish. I wonder, could you say that whole sentence? Starting bladder words eat, ready? Bladder words eat insects and fish, good. If an insect or small fish touches one of the bladders, it opens up and sucks the animal inside. And look, we can see this says an insect has been sucked into the bladder. And we can't even really tell what kind of insect it is anymore because it's been eaten. You probably know many animals that eat plants, like pandas eat bamboo. Now you know some plants that eat animals. Oh, and I'm guessing that that's a pitcher plant because it looks like a pitcher and the insect is about to crawl down to get the sweet liquid inside and get stuck. Hmm. And these are some words that we should know now. Will you echo me my turn first? See if you know each of these words. My turn. Bladderwort, bladderwort, insect, insect, right? Because of course the plants eat the insects. Leaf, leaf, Pitcher plant, pitcher plant, sundew plant, sundew plant, Venus's flytrap, Venus's flytrap. You got it. I just want to take a quick vote. You're going to raise your hand when I say the one that you liked best, but you can only vote once. Raise your hand if the one you thought was the coolest was the bladder wort. Okay. Raise your hand if you liked the pitcher plant. Okay. Raise your hand if you liked the sundew plant with the sticky little hairs. Okay, raise your hand if you liked the Venus's flytrap. <gasps> Lots of kids, good, good listening. Okay, before you go, show me if you still remember sign language for letter V, right? It looks like a V. And will you pretend you're a little insect buzzing around because you smell something sweet and you're about to land on a Venus's flytrap and you're going to go mm, 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 and land, ready? and land. Uh-oh, it's about to get eaten. Have a great day. Bye.